Welcome to the You Can Be Unstoppable podcast. My name is Ewelina Szczoblewska, your host and certified hypnotherapist. In this podcast, I will share with you how to tap into the power of your subconscious mind. I intend to share with you how learning how to use the power of your subconscious mind can help you to create a successful and abundant life with ease, how to connect with yourself while fostering a healthy relationship with your body and mind. Tapping into the power of the subconscious mind will help you to learn how to manage your emotions become more resilient and present in all of your relationships. Self-love and self-worth are the keys to the kingdom of success and abundance, to happy and healthy life on your terms. Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of You can be unstoppable and I wholeheartedly believe that you can and today I wanted to bring into your awareness the power of receiving because a lot of people struggle with having this balance between giving and receiving. I hear so many people and especially women saying that they love giving, providing, serving, just giving and helping other people and there is nothing wrong with this. However, they are struggling with receiving. They feel very uncomfortable when someone pays them a compliment or do something to them. To give you an example, have you ever hear one of your friends or maybe you actually did it when someone said oh my god you look so amazing in this dress and rather than just like thank you you would say oh it's nothing this old thing just you know threw something on it's nothing and you feel very uncomfortable or if someone offers to pay for your lunch you feel very uncomfortable and you you want to pay you insist on paying you, you really struggle to just receive a goodness of someone else's heart, yet you're quite happy to give, give, give. So receiving brings a lot of uncomfortable emotions that are usually linked to self Esteem, self-worth issues, feeling not good enough, not deserving, feeling like you need to work hard to, to get something, and so on. So my question to you is, how long do you need to keep proving to yourself and to the world at large that you are worthy? of receiving love and goodness because if you are struggling with receiving quite often that spills over into money success love relationships because how we do one thing is how we do everything so the question is how long do you need to keep proving that you are worthy how much do you need to achieve and give and over give in order to feel like you are good enough because when you feel really uncomfortable, it, it, it tells you something. And I also want you, you to consider, really take the time to consider that if everyone out in the world were the givers, there will be no receivers. And when you don't let yourself to receive, then you, you rob other people from the pleasure of helping someone to give someone something that they have you rob other people of opportunity to feel that amazing feeling when you are able to help someone when you give someone something it's a give and take and that goes in terms of creating amazing relationship creating success 
everything in your life that needs to be in balance of giving and receiving. Let's say in your career or in your business, if you are constantly giving and overgiving, so you're giving a lot, but you're not charging for the services. Or if you are a taker, you just take, 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 but you're not actually giving something. There needs to be balance between giving and receiving. So I want to bring you an exercise, really simple exercise. However, it may stir some emotions. It's from the book of The Language of Letting Go, Daily Meditations on Codependency by Melody Beattie. I absolutely love this little book. And her exercise goes something like this. Take the time today, tomorrow, and I want you to place your awareness there and practice and let someone give to you something. Let someone do something nice for you. Let someone give you a compliment or tell you something good about yourself. Let someone help you. And you really could be just a tiny little thing like someone helping you in a shop. Then, and that's really important, stand there and take it. Receive it. Take it in. Feel it. And know it that you are worthy and deserving. Do not apologize. Do not say, pay attention. Do not say you shouldn't have. Do not feel guilty. Do not feel afraid, ashamed, panicky. Do not immediately try to give something back. Just say thank you and take it. Take it in and feel it. And you can also say a little mantra, something along the lines of, I will let myself receive one thing from someone else. And I will let myself be comfortable with that. So in the morning, you can set an intention and say, today, I will let myself receive one thing from someone else and I will let myself be comfortable with that. And see what happens. And if those uncomfortable feelings are very, very uncomfortable, sit with them and ask them, Where do they come from? Where in your body do you feel them? Explore them, feel them. You may want to explore what your inner child has to say about this. And you can also ask a professional um, like myself, a therapist, or someone that you resonate with to dig a little bit deeper. Because we need to be able to receive and give in order to create that unstoppable life. Make it great today and I see everyone next week. Thank you for listening. If you found value in this podcast, I would like to ask you to leave a positive review explaining how this episode helped you to improve your life. I ask you to do this because this will help all the people to improve their lives as well. Share and spread the love all around you. Raise your vibrations to improve your life. If you would like more transformational content like this, connect with me on Instagram. You can find a link in the description of this podcast and I'll see you over in the next episode.